Yo, 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 what the deal? It's your boy X.E.L.O. Welcome back to the channel, y'all. And thank you for coming back. But if you are new here, definitely like, subscribe, hit the bell notification, and I'll let you know when I drop another video. If you are here for beats, I have a link that says Beats You Need. Or you can just go directly to the website, which is going to be xeloh.com. And here you can pick up all your beat needs, all your mixing and mastering needs, and all your graphic needs, all in this one location. And that's xeloh.com. All right, so right here I'm actually going to put in my shout outs for the people who actually left a link in the description on the last video or left a comment in the description in the last video. So here you go. It's going to be Brian Nixon, Marcus Shelton, Jim Fogel, Music Ambassador, Joe Brent, and a special shout out to Creative Sauce for leaving a comment on one of my videos. So let's continue. All right, now getting back to the video. I have a sampler called Momentum that I want to show you guys about. It's like a mixture between Fruity Slicer and Slice X with a little bit of Serato sample in there. So it can be used on any doll. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna show you how to go and pick it up, what it does, all those good things, all in this video. Let's go. All right, so this is my light theme. If you are interested in any of the themes that I have, I have a light theme and a dark theme, you can download them below in the description. And if you're not sure how to actually install themes, I do have a video showing you how to install themes in Cakewalk. So with that being said, let's get into momentum. I'm going to show you how to actually get it. So you're going to go to the web page. It's going to be on a big fish audio site. So if you just type in momentum in your Google search, momentum VST, and it should come up to this page. If you just go to Big Fish Audio, you can go to bigfishaudio.com and then hit on this button up here that says Momentum. And it is a free download. As you see, Momentum is a free plugin from Big Fish. So you can download it for Mac and for PC. All right. So now uh, this is kind of what it looks like and how it's actually set up. Um, on this screen here, this is actually showing like your brow the browser that they have. They have this free 1.8 gigabyte sample pack that you get with it. So it comes with its own samples. Come on, let's get on this. All right, let me show you how to get it done. So of course you can, you know, right click uh, inside of Cakewalk and go to uh, instruments and add instrument that way. Or you can actually go to the plus sign and get an instrument and then go to uh, momentum. And uh, momentum actually has 16 outs. So it's not like um, Serato sample where you only have that one out that you can actually use for it. It has 16 outs that you can actually use. All right, so if you go to advanced, you can actually set it up this way. I'm actually gonna go the old school method, um, seeing that my face is out the way already. I'm gonna go to plugins over here and I'm gonna hit on the little instrument and I'm gonna hit on the plus sign that says uncategorized. Usually when you download a new VST, it'll actually go on its uncategorized system because it doesn't really know where it goes. All right, so here is momentum here. I'm going to double click it and it's going to bring up a screen. So usually you'll see it and it'll probably say this simple instrument track, which is fine. That means you can actually set them up like this to just do one instrument at a time if you want to do that. Um, I'm just going to show you another way to actually get them set up so you'll have your outs already set up for momentum if you're going to use multiple of them. So you go to instrument track per output and then you do the stereo audio outputs hit OK and what it's going to do is actually create 16 outputs for momentum all right so this is momentum let me bring it down some so you guys can see it all right so when you first open momentum in cakewalk you're going to have to actually sign in so this little thing here is your sign in it will ask you for your username and your password that you set up for Big Fish Audio. It does not require any credit cards or anything like that. You just sign up at Big Fish Audio using your email address and you create a password on their site to get into the Big Fish uh, Audio Momentum. The reason they ask you for that stuff, so if you sign in and you do want to actually get one of these packets, these packs over here, 
from their store. This is their store, uh, Big Fish Audio, and they have a whole bunch of different uh, sounds and uh, fonts and everything set up in here already. Uh, so if you actually want to download them, you can download them. Uh, and like I said, it comes with the 1.8 gigabyte for free. So if you go over to uh, my files, which is this next tab right here, um, it gives you an option for your custom stuff. And here is the free sample pack. So if you click on it, it'll give you an option to play the free content as a demo. You can download all of them for free to 1.8 gig. I haven't done any of them yet because I just haven't had the time. But you can do, you can play the demos to hear what they actually sound like for the kits. The samples are over here, so you can listen to the samples. And uh, like I was saying, if you want to do your own custom kit, you can just do custom. And you have your kits over here, and you have your samples over here. So if you make a kit, um, you can actually save it by going up here to this little icon right here that has the disk drive. And you can hit save, and then do save as. Uh, to actually save them to momentum um, I haven't done any like I said but that's how you do it so I know this thing takes up a lot of real estate so you can actually minimize this by hitting this little arrow here or hitting on this box so I'm gonna hit on the arrow and as you see it moved it over if you hit on the box it'll bring it back up to your browser section but I don't need it so I'm gonna close it out all right so in here is your latch so you can actually latch and play the sample all the way through once you click on a key. Um, input cue, I'm still not 100% sure what this means. I think it means quantize, but I have no idea uh, how to actually use it, just to be honest with you guys. But if you do know how to use it, please leave a comment below in the comment section. All right, so in here, this section here is where you will have all your tracks for your samples laid out. This is your master here. And down here is your mixer and your slice options. So right now I'm on the mixer. If I hit on the slice, it'll bring me to the slice section. As you see, it has effects. And here is the slice tab. So you hit on the slice and this is where those slices would be. Um, it actually gives you an option to do a grid. So if you could do uh, one half up to 1 16th of cuts uh, on the grid. And you can also add your own slices if you wanted to. And in options here, it gives you an option to, to snap the slices to the grid and you can snap the start and end points and you can do a reset of the slices. So if you clear out all the slices that's on there, what it originally comes with, if you hit reset slices, it'll put back all the slices as you had it when you first loaded up the sample. All right, so down here is your key. So your original key of your sample, you can actually put it in. You don't have to, but it gives you an option to put it in there. So if you want to do key switches, you can actually do that. Uh, if you have if you know the key of the sample you're using and also the beat per minutes will actually show up in here uh, Some samples that you put in here may not have the beats per minute. So you have to type it in yourself But uh, the majority of the time it should find whatever the beat per minute of that sample is over here You have your speed so you can do a half time speed you can do regular speed or you can do One time speed there's a playback button or playback option here so you can play back with beats which means that it's going to follow the beat of the, the beats per minute. So if you are uh, set at 90 beats per minute for your cakewalk and then you want to actually use this um, beat, the beat that actually is here, if it's 140, meaning that it's going to go faster. So it's going to end before the 90 beat per minute. I know this sounds confusing, but trust me, that's exactly what's happening. So um, it does follow this uh, VST does follow or sampler does follow whatever your tempo is for your project right so stretch mode will actually stretch each beat to make sure it's actually staying on whatever tempo you have set in your playlist and you'll see that a little bit later here is your mode and you have loops you have backwards so loop will play it straight through and then the stupid back backwards will play backwards boomerang will play forward and then play it backwards and shot is like one shot so if you're using drums in here you can use one shots right um, so over here is your slice effects so you have your mixer effects over here your group effects or you can send your effects to send out to whatever uh, sample you have here so those are your send effects so this is the slice effects and uh, down here this volume 
I can hit on these three little dots and it'll bring up another screen that has more uh, slice effects in here. So man, go crazy. Trust me, go crazy, bananas, whatever you need to do, use the effects, they're dope. All right, so moving right along, over here will be your groups for your samples. So your samples will line up over here or your groups will line up over here and your samples will be over here to actually use them. And you'll have a little MIDI option to drag this the MIDI onto your track. And we'll show you that a little bit later. All right, so of course, these buttons I used already, the mixer and the slice. This is your keyboard and it starts at the zero, which is the zero here. So over here is um, set to auto. What this does is actually set up the kit or the slice. So the kit is the same thing as using this mixer. The mixer uses the kit. The slice actually uses whatever slices is in the slicer. Hope that makes sense, because that's exactly what it is. <laughs> all right, so moving right along. Now that I showed you pretty much all the little steps in here, let's see if we can get some. Let me find a sample. All right. So I'm gonna bring it over to the mixer part. So I'm just gonna drag the sample over here so that you'll be able to see kind of what we can do with it. All right, so this is just a drum loop that is actually on here. As you see, it's set to the slices. So this is the slices down here. And that's the drums. So um, I'm gonna go to kit mode. So this is basically this same as this. I can put it on auto and as you see, it'll stay there. And if I switch to slice, it'll go to the slice one or the, yeah, the slice one. So I'm gonna go back to mixer. I wanna do is hit on this latch key, right? So um, the latch will make it keep playing. So I can hit. That'll let it actually keep playing if I do the latch. And as you see in this section here, it gives you your uh, sample and it gives you the, um, the MIDI, which would be right here. Uh, you can actually send effects to it if you wanted to, as you have effects right here as well. You have your EQs, your choruses, and of course you have more effects if you hit on the three dots. Definitely, like I said, go crazy with that part. All right, so um, this little thing here is the mixer for it. So you have your mutes, you have your solos, you have a pen and you have a tune. So you can actually tune the sample itself. And this master right here, if you click on it, it'll give you an option to do your outs. So you can send this out to another track. So I'm gonna send this to number two. Right, and um, I'm gonna actually hit the latch on here and mess with the tuning so you can hear it. All right. So there you go. So you can actually tune the sample as you put it in here. You can set it to you whatever outputs you want to send it to. So what I'm gonna do is go over to the slice part now. And uh, I want to actually have it to where it's on a beat. Um, and as you see here, it set a beat per minute, a tempo right here to 114.31. That's probably not accurate, but we're gonna leave it there. Um, I'm gonna leave it uh, on the playback to be beat. And I'm gonna actually see if I can play it on the keyboard here. All right, I'm gonna take off the latch mode for a moment. All right, and I'm gonna take it off of loop, right? I'm gonna put it on shot. So now I can do. So let's say I just wanted to record that. So don't record. So I'm gonna minimize momentum, I'm gonna close it out. And as you see, it put the stuff into MIDI. So I can double click it and actually bring it up in the piano roll and see what I did. And it'll play. All right. So there you go. So you have uh, the momentum actually going out to the track itself. 
So I can actually move this down to the actual track. So that way I can leave the, the first track open. All right, so let's go back into Momentum and let's find some samples. All right, so I'm gonna actually um, go to the mixer again. Um, you don't have to go to the mixer, but I like to go to the mixer. It makes it easier for me to kind of see and tune stuff if I want to. So I'm gonna go and pull up a sample. Let's do this south one. And let's do one more. Let's do, let's do this one, distance. All right, so um, now as you see down here, there are new pieces. So these are the two that I added in here. So this one is. All right, so let's work on this one real quick. So I'm gonna go over to slice, right? And seeing that I know that it's a C minor, I can go here now to the key and actually put it on C. And now it should actually lock it to that C. All right, and um, like I was telling you with the slices, as you see, it just made its own slices. I can go here and clear these slices out. I can add a slice if I want to by double clicking to put a slice wherever I want to. I'm gonna clear that out as well. And I can also do have it cut according to the bars. As you see, this is only a four bar loop. And now what you can do is actually add different things like um, you could do pan. Let's do the pan. Let's do some volume and pan. So I'm going to turn it on. If you hit the little green button, it's going to actually turn on this piece. So now if I actually want to apply it to the track, I need to go up to effects, this effects right here. And I'm sorry, this right here, this section here is where your slice controls are. So you're going to go to pan. This is the pan. I'm so sorry about that, guys. Uh, all right, so let's try this again. Let's do a hard pan, hard right. Let's do a repeat for the slices and As you see it panned it hard left and hard right. So you can also have that for reverse and delay. So each one kind of has a different kind of setup like uh, the reverse. Let's do a reverse. So I'm gonna show you what the reverse does. So I have the reverse clicked and I'm gonna hit on to turn it on. And you gotta make sure you're on effects. So now that it's on, I know you saw that line that went across before. That is what the, so the top of the line should turn on the effect. The bottom of the line will, or underneath the sample it should turn it off so on and off I know it's kind of weird but you'll get used to it hopefully or eventually all right so I'm gonna play this now so it gives you an option to actually do that as well so let's say I like this and I wanted to actually put it into a uh, cakewalk. So what you would do is you would pull this down and I'm gonna drag this little MIDI icon here and I'm gonna put it on number three, right? I'm gonna mute this one and I'm actually gonna play it from uh, cakewalk. So I'm gonna set a loop for that so that it'll keep looping. But yeah, so now I'm gonna close momentum and I'm gonna bring up the pan roll for this. As you see here are the steps for the, the four bar loop. So if you want to manipulate it in any way, you could do that so you can do, you know, like you did, would do in like slice X.
So you have multiple ways of actually adding different flavors to your, your stuff. Right? Like I said, you can even play it from the keyboard if you want to. You can mess with the, uh, pretty much all the effects inside of Momentum and actually have it in here. And it's going to the this, whatever tempo is set on the track. So let's say I have this set to, let's do, let's do 150, right? It's, it's just that that simple to actually get all this stuff done uh, in this way. So um, even if you have, if you played something out, you can actually add it into Momentum. Um, once you freeze the track, you can drag it in there as a sample if you want to do that as well. So many different ways to actually do uh, different things in here. Um, all right, so let's go back into Momentum. I'm gonna go to the uh, mixer. And like I said, I can do a, the tuning for this. So let me turn on the latch mode, right? And I'm gonna hit on this, uh, let's do the third one. Let's hear that one. So let's say we like that tone and let's go to the slices. Let's uh, clear them. All right. So as you see, this one is eight bar loop. Um, and if say you want to actually switch the samples in here in the sample section, you will go so like I hit on this self and then I click on it and it's going to bring up the sample. So I'll go back here and hit on the distance and it puts up the sample. It tells me that the sample is 160 beat per minute. Um, I could slow it down or I could speed it up. Uh, if you play on the beat, so all right, you see this is 160. So 160 is faster than 150, so you're going to hear some clips if I put it on beat. So I'm going to play it from the beat part. All right, so as you see, if you do the beats, you have to make sure that the tempo of the actual uh, via, uh, DAW that you're using is actually set to the same tempo. That's the only way it's going to work the correct way. All right. So uh, with that being said, you can actually go and do the backwards just to demonstrate. All right, you can do a stretch. And as you see, the stretch makes all of them link sync up to whatever your beat per minute is inside your DAW. All right, so uh, Boomerang is going to play all the way through it and come back. So then you have, you know, the shot, which was like the one shot. So you can play it at that one key and it'll play it that one time instead of looping all the way through. All right. So that's really good if you want to do just the chops. You know, you have like an MPC chop uh, if you do it with just the shots on there. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's, that's pretty much it uh, from what I can think of right now. I don't think there's anything else I need to show you guys, man. So um, happy um, sampling, <laughs> uh, and definitely uh, if you guys have like any questions about any of this stuff, uh, definitely uh, just let me know. I'm here to help uh, wherever I can. And if you have actually watched this video all the way to this point, definitely like, subscribe, hit the bell. I'll let you know when I drop videos like this. If y'all want to continue to actually see these dope videos like this, definitely like and subscribe. But with that being said, if you do leave a comment below, 
uh, the this week, if you want to get a shout out, it's going to be momentum, just like the plugin. They're going to use momentum as the word to put into the comment section to get y'all a shout out on the next video. But once again, it's your boy X dot E dot L dot O. Until the next time, people. Peace.